Imagine hitting play and, in the first few seconds, seeing the sun spit fire, Venus cooking a spacecraft in minutes, and a whirlpool on Jupiter big enough to swallow Earth whole. Sounds like exaggeration? It's exactly what the best portraits of our solar system show when we look up close. So close that even astronomers used to surprises had to revisit their own certainties. Today, you'll walk through these images as if leafing through a forbidden cosmic album. Each photo opens a door, knocks down an idea, and reminds us that the worlds in our backyard are more extreme than we imagined. Before telescopes that sniff out invisible light and probes that orbit distant worlds, we could only guess what things were really like. Technology changed the game. We moved from imagination to caught in the act. Cameras that stare down solar fury, orbiters that stitch impossible panoramas, sensors that tease out rock chemistry from miles away. The result? An archive that's not only gorgeous, but unsettling. Because it reveals behaviors nobody predicted and proves that being close to the sun is a relative concept. Let's start with the heart that leads the dance. The sun alone holds 99.86% of the solar system's mass and pours out every second energy equivalent to trillions of nuclear bombs. On August 31, 2012, the Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded a dangerous, mesmerizing spectacle a massive plasma filament split in the corona and was hurled into space in a coronal mass ejection, accelerating at over 900 miles per second. Beautiful to watch, disastrous to live with. Storms like this can disrupt satellites and power grids here on Earth. The star that warms and shields also bites, and sometimes it bites hard. Moving on to the planet that feels that furnace's breath most, we reach Mercury, about 36 million miles from the Sun, Many spacecraft have flown by, but only one stuck around, NASA's Messenger, which entered orbit in March 2011 and turned the planet into a detailed jigsaw puzzle. The terrain is a mosaic of craters, all sizes, carved by ancient impacts. Van Eyck spans 168 miles across. The Caloris Basin is a 960-mile colossus rimmed by ranges with peaks nearly 1.2 miles high. On April 29, 2015, Messenger made ultra-fine spectral measurements that helped map surface composition like never before. It took more than 200,000 images before goodbye. Out of fuel, the probe was deliberately sent crashing down in 2015, but not before transmitting its final photo, the highest resolution view of Mercury ever taken. And even so, one provocation hangs in the air. Being closer to the Sun doesn't guarantee the title of hottest, that trophy burns in the hands of Venus, our immediate neighbor. Picture a planetary pressure cooker, a dense atmosphere loaded with carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen, trapping heat without mercy. The surface thermometer sits around 880 degrees Fahrenheit. To see inside this hellscape took courage and boiler room grade engineering. The Soviet Union's Venera 13 touched down on March 1, 1982. Built to last half an hour, it survived for more than two sending the first color photos from the Venusian ground while its instruments melted with dignity. Years later, in 1990, Magellan mapped the entire planet by radar and told us about volcanism, hints of crustal motion, brutal winds, and lava channels of indecent scale. One stretches about 5,550 miles. Among the mountains, Matmans rises to roughly three miles. Mission complete, Magellan ended the way intense stories do, diving back into the cauldron. On the third orbit, we're home again. Earth, so far the only oasis with life we know, became a muse for a new kind of photography. Monitoring satellites deliver, in near real time, the ballet of clouds, the pulse of the oceans, and the colors of the continents. A true color composite from NASA instruments, about 22,000 miles up, captured the Americas as an astronaut would see them from a window, with the moon appearing in the background as a distinguished extra. On December 14, 2020, GOES-16 recorded a total solar eclipse from space, geography, celestial mechanics, and timing in perfect sync. And there was debate. In March 2011, Russia's Electro-L satellite released richly detailed images that many swore were more faithful than NASA's. The agency pushed back. Controversies aside, you look and fall in love with the same planet all over again. And, in a sentimental turn, Messenger, the Mercury one, looked back during its journey, snapped Earth and Moon together, and mailed us a postcard before vanishing into the sun's glare. 
we hop over the asteroid belt to face the most cinematic neighbor and likely the next planet we'll set foot on, Mars. The Viking missions inaugurated the era of sweeping Martian landscapes. In 1979, Viking 1 showed Valles Marineris, a canyon system so vast the Grand Canyon would look shy beside it. Viking 2, for its part, captured the Southern Plains and the South Polar Cap. In 2013, the European Space Agency's Mars Express revealed Hebes Chasma, the northernmost segment of Valles, in a high-definition sequence that turned into a flight over the terrain. But nothing beats the feeling of walking without walking. Four rovers have already traced tracks in Martian soil, and Curiosity delivered some of the most iconic images, including a self-portrait that looks straight out of a movie. Its masterpiece is a 1.8 billion pixel panorama assembled from more than 1,200 photos. You can pan around and sweep grain by grain across the rust-colored desert. And it's still there, patiently digging for answers. Leaving the inner planets, we reach the King of Giants. Jupiter is brutality in planet form, with the Great Red Spot roaring for about 350 years. That vortex, an epic storm, is so vast it would swallow Earth without a burp. On July 10, 2017, the Juno spacecraft flew just 5,600 miles from the storm center and captured an intimate portrait of organized chaos. On other passes, the camera showed the globe in colors, close to what our eyes would see. Still, it was when Juno looked at the poles, invisible from Earth, that it shocked us. In the north, eight cyclones locked into a stable geometric arrangement, as if drafted with ruler and compass. Not passing tempests, but architecture in Jupiter's atmosphere. On November 13, 2018, Juno Cam took our breath away again. On June 27, 2019, Hubble caught the spot once more, smaller than before, shrinking like a tired eye that, despite everything, still stares back. If Jupiter intimidates, Saturn wins you over with aesthetics. The rings, ice and rock sculpted by gravity, turn any image into art. Cassini Huygens assembled the definitive album of this enchanted world. On October 21, 2002, when it was still 177 million miles away, the craft photographed Saturn like someone admiring a rare work from afar. On March 27, 2004, already approaching orbital insertion, it delivered a natural color view, elegance on the eve of arrival. Then came a perspective we can't have from down here. Saturn backlit, the sun hidden, the planet in silhouette, the rings glowing like lit lace, a secret you only see from the far side. In 2004, Hubble added auroras dancing above the clouds. In 2016, Cassini showed the northern hemisphere with its favorite mystery, a hexagon-shaped vortex, a stubborn weather pattern that puzzles researchers to this day. The ending was poetic and practical. On September 15, 2017, the probe dove into Saturn's atmosphere and became a streak of light, transmitting its final image before the silence. Farther out and stranger still is the planet that spins on its side. Uranus is an outlier, tilted like a top that took a shove, showing a blue-green disk that seems mild at first glance. During its historic flyby, Voyager 2 compiled three color-filtered images and introduced us to this icy face. On July 11 and 12, 2004, the Keck telescope produced a composite that revealed the ring system, long shy, with surprising clarity. Those bright spots on the disk? Auroras, energetic particles playing with the magnetic field. Hubble revisited Uranus in November 2011 and color enhanced an image highlighting the bluish sphere and reddish-tinged rings. In 2017, it captured auroras again. The lesson is simple. Behind the calm expression lives a fussy meteorology. The classic frontier ends with Neptune, eighth from the sun. Only one spacecraft has passed by, Voyager 2. It introduced us to the Great Dark Spot, a colossal storm racing across the blue atmosphere, with bright clouds cutting bands across the globe. Decades later, Hubble showed Neptune is a chameleon. In December 2020, there it was again with a prominent large spot, a sign that the weather keeps changing. From the ground, the European Southern Observatory pulled off a technical feat. Using the MUSE instrument in narrow-field adaptive optics mode, the Very Large Telescope captured strikingly sharp portraits, a serious challenge given the absurd distance and the turbulence of our own air in the way. And Pluto? Call it a dwarf planet. 
Call it a planet at heart. What matters are the images that charmed the world. In July 2015, New Horizons drew close, and on the 13th, the LORRI camera delivered one of the crispest views of the tiny body. The next day came a mosaic assembled with blue, red, and infrared channels, highlighting subtle variations across the surface. The following photos looked unreal. They were so sharp. Charon, the largest moon, got a color-enhanced composite portrait, and one scene in particular etched itself into our collective memory. Mountain ranges casting shadows over a frozen plain, a little slice of another world that, for the first time, stopped being only a pale dot in textbooks. Put all these pieces together and you see we haven't been collecting postcards, we've been collecting questions. Every photo you saw cracked open a window for new hypotheses and, often, knocked down old certainties. Even so, limits loom on the horizon. Proxima Centauri, the nearest star system, is still far beyond reach for the conventional spacecraft we have. With current technology, any traditional probe would take thousands of years to reach our closest neighbor. But there's a bold bet on the table. Ultralight minicraft from the Breakthrough Starshot project, attached to ultra-thin sails, accelerated by powerful lasers fired from Earth. In theory, these nanoprobes could reach something like 134 million miles per hour and cross the gulf to Proxima b in 20 to 25 years. Imagine receiving, within a single generation, the first photo album from another star system. Sounds like fiction? It does, but it's the kind of fiction engineering is beginning to rehearse. In the end, these images aren't just records of what's out there. They're portraits of who we are inside. Every close-up of the sun, every panorama on Mars, every storm caught on Jupiter translates our refusal to accept easy answers. We're the species that turned curiosity into technology and transformed points of light into places with names, stories, and weather. When we look at Venus, Saturn, or Pluto, we stop seeing mere heavenly bodies and start seeing contexts, processes, and timelines different from our own. And that changes how we face Earth itself. Fragile, rare, urgent. Maybe the biggest lesson lies less in what we discovered and more in what we now ask. If such different worlds share rules and exceptions, what are we still missing in our own backyard? What details are we ignoring out of habit? With each new photo, we remember that knowledge isn't a straight line. It's a spiral that returns to the starting point with more layers, more care, and more responsibility. From here on, the frontier isn't just distance, it's attention. It's the discipline to look twice, to compare, to doubt, to go back to the raw data, and to allow ourselves to be astonished. Because while the universe doesn't need our opinion to exist, it does need our awe to be understood. And that's a huge privilege, to live in an era when old questions are finally starting to come into sharp focus. If this journey stirred you, do this. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and tell us in the comments which image made it into your personal cosmic album. Drop a like and share with anyone who loves science. It really helps the next episode reach farther. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.